Drake equation is sort of deceptively simple. It's an attempt to describe the number of alien species or civilizations we could come in contact with. And the structure of it is not like complicated, like, you know, the Schrodinger equation or the Dirac equation. It's just a bunch of numbers multiplied together. But hidden in that structure is a real wisdom because it tells you that you have to have lots of things all line up in order to have those that alien communication. He starts with the number of stars in the universe, which we now know is huge. And then the fraction of those stars that have planets, which we now know is significant. And then the fraction of those that have life on them, still totally unknown. The fraction of those that are intelligent, the fraction of those that develop civilizations we could communicate with, and then times the length of those civilizations. So it gives you a sense for like how many aliens are out there that we could communicate with. And, you know, the multiplication of them tells you, like, if any of those are zero, it doesn't matter how many planets there are if none of them have life. It doesn't matter how much life there is if none of it's intelligent or if none of it is technological. Uh, you have to have everything line up just right to have that glorious moment of alien communication. And it's super exciting that we live now and, like, in our lifetimes, we've gone from having no idea how many planets there are around an average star to having measurements with uncertainties. And, you know, those measurements like 30-ish percent plus or minus 10, 20 percent, it's incredible because mm. that number could have been 0.0001. 